Neighbor relations. What happens when you have two people that are partners on an item of property? One of the parties decides that they want to break away from the other party and become the sole owner of 50% of this item of property. Then the question arises, is this something that they could force onto the other party? The Rambam goes into great detail, bringing various laws on this from the Talmud. The general point over here is, is this something that can be divided into two? Or will do, doing so ruin its purpose? In which case, this party cannot force their desire onto the other party. But what they could do is they could say, hey, let me buy your 50% so I can have full ownership over it. Or at least let me sell my 50% so I'll have the money and I won't have to, we won't have to remain partners on the item. Another question, another topic on, on neighbor relations, what happens if two people are both own homes in a courtyard and one of them decides that they want to turn their home into a store, which will mean that there'll be lots of people coming in and out of the courtyard. Then the other party could object. What if they want to turn it into a school to teach children Torah? That's a mitzvah. So then there's another question: though. Is it something which, is it something that the other party can can um, can complain about, or is it something that they have to put up with? And many, many more this, this, uh, details on this topic. Today's mitzvah is once again the mitzvah of personal injury that we spoke about over the, a couple of weeks ago. We spoke about over the last couple of days. More on neighbor relations tomorrow. Thank you for watching.